This episode of Congratulations is brought to you by the Cash App. Crazy, 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 Man, I'm on my app. I'm live on my app so people can see this shit before we even start. Um, and uh, I asked if people on the app can see me. Uh, or I can hear me because uh, I wanted to make sure it was working. And somebody wrote down on my app, loud and clear. So we're good. Loud and clear. We are good. Um, <clears throat> so look, you guys, it's it's on, babies. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm having a I'm having a good time in life. And, and, you know, does my back hurt? Yes. Is it all good? Did I bite my tongue? Yes. So does my fucking face hurt and my back hurt? Yes. But am I trucking through life? Yes, because that's what you do. I mean, you know, if somebody were to come up to ask me on the street, hey, dude, even though this has happened in my life and these are the negative things, do I still have to truck through life? I'd be like, yes. That's what I would do. Um, so that's what's up, man. And we're already fucking a minute and a half into this podcast. Can you believe it? Can you honestly believe it? A minute and a half in and it's flying by. Uh, congratulations. That's the episode. That's the episode shit. Shit. Um, I was, uh, I, I did, uh, I did a few things recently. Um, I did, uh, H3 podcast. Didn't talk about that. You know, I like those guys. I really like those guys on H3. And uh, I actually checked some of the comments. Didn't mean to. and uh, But I was looking at some comments, and it really made me feel good, man. A lot of people online, a lot of hate and shit. But a lot of people on those comments were saying, like, how much they liked the episode, how much they liked me as a guest. And that really makes me feel good. Also, my butthole hurts. Great. That's cool. That's cool. And it's weird that that happened after I did the H3 podcast because we always talk about using Metamucil. And I didn't use the Metamucil. And because I was staying in Albuquerque and flying a lot, dude, how much does flying dry you out? Sahara. Eh, Sahara. Dude, when you fly, you get so dry. And I didn't didn't even mean to rap there, but I rapped. But when you fly, you get so dry. And you know I'm not going to drink coffee. And coffee does what? It dehydrates you. So what happens is when you go do number two, instead of doing number two, it feels like a Brinks truck is coming out of you. It's all good, but it feels like a Brinks truck. It feels like you're like, hey, am I going to the bathroom or? That's what I want to do when I'm dry, when I fly and go to Albuquerque in the desert and I'm drinking iced Americanos till, uh, uh, all the day is long. And st- when I go to the bathroom, I need this because it feels like a fucking tr- freight train's coming out. Ah, didn't mean to gross you out three minutes into the episode, but what's real is real, dude. And we don't fuck around here at the Congratulations Podcast. We certainly don't fuck around. It's all real shit. And I talk about what comes to my mind. Because you can't, you can't not. You know what I'm talking about? I gotta be real. I was listening to my brother's podcast, Mentalia is Confused. And is it Joe Walsh? Is that is that who it was? Yeah, Joe Walsh. Uh, was saying uh, he can't, even though he's conservative but doesn't like Trump, he can't be on panels because they 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 tell him to not bash Trump when he's doing like Fox News stuff or whatever it is. I don't even know if it's Fox News, but like when it's very conservative panels, and he's like, and there and and uh, and other guys like Hannity will just be the yes man and be like, oh yeah, of course I won't because this is the job. That Joe Walsh just, he's like, I don't know what to do because I can't lie about how I feel. And Joe Walsh, that's what gets you a gold medal. Did you understand that? That's what gets you a gold medal. Because that's awesome, dude. Because it's weird when when uh, when when journalists are just on a fucking agenda or uh, uh, what do you call it? Um. Uh, pundits or fucking, I don't know, these guys with the shows. Anytime a, a guy has a show and it begins with, you know, don't call the president. You, you don't, you know what I mean? 
Don't be on the phone with the president if you have a show that goes like this. This just in. We're here, f- and this is what happened. And it's an embattled outside of the data. And that's my take. Hello? Hello, Mr. President. Can't talk to the president if your show goes. And you know it, but it's all good. That's the world we live in now, my babies. Um, so, uh, we are fucking five minutes into this podcast and we are just flying. We are just flying, dude. I swear. It seems like three minutes and it's been five, but, um, love those guys over on H3, had a good time, told some stories. Um, I actually told this story and I realized I never told this on the, on the, on the, on the podcast, on this podcast, but it's funny because I, this was insane. One time when I was, um, I had to go to the bathroom so bad. Number two. Now, oopsie daisy. I was in public, but I don't care. Dude, you know what I do? Do you know what I do when I got to go to the bathroom in public number two? Do you know what I do? I go bathroom in public number two. Because that's how it is, dude. That's how it is. If toilets are around, I'm using them if I got to go. I don't, people with, oh, germs and shit like that. That's how you get sick. And I don't use, I don't use, dude, I only use the fucking... The thing, you know what I mean? The the cover, I only use that when it's necessary. Like if there's some blood on the toilet seat or something, I wipe it off. I get a lot of toilet paper. I wipe it off. I wipe it off so it doesn't touch my hand as well. And then I put the thing on only if there's like blood or shit or piss. But if there's nothing on there and I look at it and you know what I do? I give it a once over. That's all I do. I give it a once over. And if it's got nothing on there, I don't use it. Because it's just touching my thighs, dude. If piss touches your thighs, I don't give a fuck, bro. I'm living. Oh my God, Chris, you sat on the you sat on the on the toilet bowl. What about getting piss and shit all over your balls? Is it on my balls, or is it on my thighs? Yeah! So. I do it, and I don't give a fuck, dude, because that's the kind of life you got to live. I'm gangster. And if you're out there, and if you're going to the bathroom number two, and you're not using those fucking safety things, let me know. And I won't read it, but tweet it at me, and I won't read it. Um, So I don't do it. So one time, oh, also, if, if the woman's room's open, I'm a chick. If the man's room, if the men's room is uh is is fucking um used occupied and the woman's is not i'm a chick apparently i've got a pussy because i'm unloading i'm unloading in the women's room dude hey sir what are you doing? It looks like you got a penis and you're going in the women's room. Well, apparently right now, I'm a female. Yeah! Oh my God, are you strangling an alligator? Am I or am I taking a shit? Yeah! Bro. <laughs> So I went into the thing, the ladies' room, and it wasn't a single stall. And guess what, dude? You fucked up the way you made this building. Because this is still coming out. All right? So I go in the women's room, and I tiptoe. Because now I'm a woman, baby. And I go in the stall. You know how women always tiptoe. So I I go in the stall, and I close the door. And then, uh, and then, uh, and then I close the door and then, and then I'm, I'm going, right? I'm going and it's all good, but I'm going. It wasn't an Albuquerque, but even still, we've had fun with the keyboard. So, um, so I'm in there and I'm going and a lady comes in and instantly 
I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm a bitch. My knees get real close to a, to each other because I'm scared and I don't want anybody to see my balls. And I'm trying to fucking be real, real tiny so nobody could see me, even though I'm still six two. And I'm a tall drink of water, right? And my shoulders, of course, are fucking. They go on for like. Do you want to know what the weather's like on Thursday? Because my shoulders go into next week. You know what I mean? You want to know what the fucking weather's like on next Thursday? Well, let's take a ride on my shoulders. Uh, 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 uh. Mm, shoulders go on for a week, so let me know where you are, and I'll tell you the forecast. Uh, uh, uh. All right? So... Are those your shoulders? Yes, and it's raining on Friday. <laughs> anyway, dude, I went in there and my knees were touching together because I was scared because the lady fucking came in. And she was tiptoeing because she's a lady and ladies always tiptoe. Ladies have never not tiptoed. And I'm trying to be quiet. I'm trying not to let Pert come out or anything like that. You know what I mean? Try not to strangle any alligators. And she's like, she says, did a guy come in here? Did anyone see it? No, she said, did anyone see a guy come in here? And there's the sliver of the, vi the way they make these stalls, dude, make them so there's no way to peek in. You know, there's always like a gap that's like fucking two inches wide. And you could just literally make eye contact with people while you're fucking dropping off. You know what I mean? So, so she looks at me after she said, no, she says, does anyone see a guy come in here? And I go like this. I go like this. I'm like, should I make my voice like a woman? Like, should I literally go, no, but I'm like, no, I'm not going to pass for that. Right? Right. If it were nowadays, I would have just been like, no, and I know you've got, you hear my voice, but I identify as a woman. I, I would have fucking done that now. But this was a while ago. So I just, I was like, should I go? No. And I was like, no, nah, for fuck's sake. You know, one time when I was a kid, one time when I was a kid, I didn't want to talk to him. Uh, it was, I was in high school. I was in eighth grade. And this kid was asking me if he wanted to hang out. And I didn't want to hang out. And he had my number because nobody had cell phones back then. And they called me. And he was like, hi, uh, it, uh. I picked up the phone and I was like, hello? And he was like, Chris? And I was like, fuck, he's going to ask to hang out. And I said, oh, no, this is Chris's mom, Ellie. And he was like, oh, <laughs> is Chris there? And I said, and I literally, I literally said, I, I, this is the truth. I swear to God, I literally said, oh, no, he's at the opera. Ha! And he said, oh, okay, well, tell him to call me back. It's David or whoever. I don't remember who it was. And I said, okay, click. And I remember thinking, well, he'll believe that because why the fuck would I pretend I was my mom and say Chris was at the opera? Because what the fuck? There's no operas that go on at fucking, well, maybe they do. I don't know. But not, not near La Cañada at 5 p.m. So anyway, I, uh, I didn't do that voice. I just, I said, she said, did anyone see a guy come in here? And I said, no. And I, a as I say no, I look at out the the crack of the doors and I'm making eye contact with her with one eye and I'm looking at her and I say no and she just said did anyone see a guy come in here and I say no and I'm a guy <laughs> and then oh no I didn't say no I said what I said what which is even better that's how much of a bitch I was she said did anyone see a guy come in here and I said what? And I'm looking at her. Oh, caught. And she says, uh, and, and, I, and, and then she says again, and I swear to God, this was the only time this ever happened in my entire life. She said, I said, did anyone see an iPhone in here? I heard the wrong thing because I was scared. I'm a bitch. That was the first, that was the only time that ever happened to me. It's like that happens in movies and you're like, okay, go fuck yourself, dude. Go fuck yourself. You know? But it really happened. And I said, oh, no, no iPhone. And she just walked out tiptoeing like a lady. And I finished up strangling my alligator. And then I walked out a man. Yeah!
<laughs> but that was what was up that day, dude. Did you know that? So it was good, man. One time, my friend said he was in a foreign country with his brother, and he was drinking with his brother, and he and his brother uh, he couldn't find his brother for a little bit, and he was outside, and there was a huge pile of throw up on the ground and he was leaning up against the wall and my buddy said hey did you just throw up and he said i don't know uh caught red-handed i don't know hey i don't know dude not straight up lie no i don't know is the best to say i don't know when you know and you're trying to get out of not being a fucking, you know, in trouble or whatever you think is the best. I don't know. I don't know. That's my favorite kind of shit. And that's final. So you can fucking argue with me all day long, but that's my favorite kind of shit. And that's final. Because we know what we like. We know what daddy likes. We know what fucking daddy likes. Daddy likes when guys are fucking some bitch. And they try to not be a bitch. That's the best thing. If a guy's wearing sunglasses at night and bumps into a fucking thing, that's my favorite thing. And that's the end of story, dude. That's the end of the story. Okay? That's why I like fucking Horatio Cain so much. Dude. The shortest. The shortest one ever. And that's why we have to find the killer. So quick. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck is up with Area 51? First of all, are there 50 other areas? Eh, it's a bad stand-up, dude. Hey, what's the deal with Area 51? Are there, what's the, what, like there's 50 other areas? Just somebody in the audience. Yes. All right, well, you know, I'm just saying, are there more than that? Yes. Okay. Okay, well, anyway, what's going on in the news? That's what's going on in the news. Listen, man. Dude, so, so uh, I fucking Area 51 about how there's like 2.2 million people that, or however many 3 million people that want to storm the fucking thing. They can't, they can't stop us all. Hey, dude. Yes, they can. They can't stop us. Dude, th- you know how many they can, uh, of you they can stop? Do you know how many of you they can stop? All of you. Dude, I can't, and that that is the definition of first to go. Anybody that goes, I don't care if you're a fucking well-to-do person. I don't care what race you are. I don't care how smart you are. I don't care if you're helping the world. I don't care what you do. Barring you cure cancer. If you show up to Raid Area 51... I don't feel bad if you get mowed down, dude. I mean, dude, are you kidding me? The people at Area 51, so I don't know if you know this, but there's like a petition out there. It's like, hey, we all want to raid Area 51. They can't stop us all. Sign up, and we're going to all go at some point, which I hope is a joke. I, but I, I don't know anymore these days. It's this Facebook event, right? 1.5 right now. They can't stop all of us. Hosted by shit posting because I'm in shambles. K, get a more professional name. Anyway, um, we will all meet up at the Area 51 Alien Center tourist attraction and coordinate our entry. I have a plan before that. Uh, if we Naruto run, we can move faster than their bullets. <laughs> K, well, he can't. So I think this guy started it as a joke, obviously, but like. There, there are people that are for sure taking this seriously because there are too many people. Now, people at Area 51 are reading this, and they're loading their weapons, and they can't wait. Dude, they can't wait, bro. They can't wait. Hey, do you mind giving me that water? Thanks. There's, there's, they've been waiting for this. Dude, they're just sitting there, like, pretending. I mean, if there is anything about aliens in Area 51, like, they're just been, they've just been waiting is this real? This is real? Naruto running. Okay, they're not Naruto running. They're regular jogging with their hands behind their fucking... F- so it's all good. I mean, they're barely jogging. So anyway... So anyway... Um, they're waiting. 
And the, and when they start, dude, if I was at Area 51 and they started Naruto running, first of all, where are you going to start from? you got to start from really far away because their weapons go real far because they're guns. Uh, and they also have fucking other things other than guns. If there really are aliens there, then they are checking out the alien technology. They're just going to fucking... Vroom, like, there's going to be one loud... Vroom, and people are just going to lose their... Le- just disintegrate. It's going to be like the end of uh, end Avengers or whatever the fuck. End game. But yeah, Naruto run all you want, dude. Those motherfuckers are in there. They're ready with their turrets, bro. And they'll get all of you. And they'll just fucking load them up. <laughs> and it won't even last that long. And that's it. And somebody will be de- and they'll be like, we tried to Naruto run. Oh, God. And then I will be in the front, jo- like, you know, I will be in the back, like, I was playing. I didn't really want to go. Yeah! I just can't believe that. Also, Naruto running. We're looking at Naruto running now on. The, on um, I mean, dude. It's so bitch to run with your hands behind your back like that. Like, I know this Japanese shit. They're trying to be like, this is the shit. And in a way, it kind of is. But it's so bitch to run like that, dude. Wow. To run just like this? Mm -mm. It's like you're trying to get away from your mommy? Bro, that's not Naruto running. You're trying to get away from your mommy, dude. Wow, you know what I really want to see? A fucking 50-year-old Naruto run. With a belly. Imagine Naruto running and falling down, but taking one of those long fall downs. My favorite falling downs are when people... Here's the deal, dude. If you're going to fall down, just fucking fall, right? That's the way to do it. But if you're going to fall down and you keep trying, and the momentum keeps bringing you over, and you're like, I almost got, I got, 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 and it takes more than a second or two... Bro, you win the Sabitch Award. <laughs> I one, one, one time I saw a girl in high school. We were going to lunch. First of all, don't ever run to your car. Unless, like, some fucking catastrophe is happening. I know a guy, Ian Edwards, that fucking hilarious stand-up comedian who is his comedy, his comedy, uh, his comedy Central uh, special just came out. I, like... That guy walks slower than shit. I can't imagine him ever. I know he'll never have kids because when you have kids, you have to run. You know, like if a kid falls down, you got to run over and make sure they're okay. He'll never have kids because he never. I can't even imagine Ian running. You have a friend. Imagine that friend. You'd be like, oh, he would never run. Dude, Ian Edwards would never run. For what? I, I would be like, yo, Ian, would you ever run? And he would be like, for what? Um. Anyway, uh, yeah. Oh, so this chick was running to go to like lunch. She's trying to like beat the fucking rush, and she fell so hard, and it was so fucked up because she had a lunchbox, and she was like too old to have a lunchbox because she was like fucking in ninth or tenth grade, and she fell and had a lunchbox, and the lunchbox like opened and the sandwich slid out, you know, and it was like what the fuck, and she just goes ah. It was like the Peter Griffin thing, where he just keeps going and going. Ah! Ow! And I felt bad. But you know what I did? I fucking kept walking, dude. You fall down, you get up. It's not how hard you fall. It's how quickly you get up. And I say that every morning, dude. And I also say it sometimes on my podcast, I guess. That girl was fucking hot, actually. When I was a, when I was a kid... You know what she was? She was she was that secret girl that became hot all of a sudden one day. You know when you're in high school and like the popular girls are hot and you're like, whoa, 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 hold on a second, what's up with Rebecca? Because all of a sudden, I don't know. It's like, it's I don't know what that is. What is that? It's just all of a sudden, I guess maybe puberty or maybe it's your puberty, or it's like just the hormones and you're like, you remember you were in fucking social studies class or math class or some shit. Or you were in fucking Spanish class with Mr. Takame? Dude, we had a Japanese Spanish teacher. And uh, he had all sorts of accents. And 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 I would you would just be looking over at like fucking Rebecca and you'd just be like, what the fuck? 
Why all of a sudden is she hot? What happened? It was like the fucking second she became hot, you know? And you realize it. And here's how dumb guys are. You think, you're like, oh, I, I'm the only guy who realizes that now. So I could probably get her. And she's like, hey, fucking asshole. I've been dealing with creepy 50-year-olds online for fucking seven years by, at this point. You're, you, 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 you don't get me, dude. And then she runs, just runs to lunch with a lunchbox, and she fucking falls down. And that's just life. That has nothing to do with, you know, a clapback or anything like that. It's just, you just fell because sometimes people fall, you know. And that's sad, kind of. But, but it's not really that sad, though, because she's probably got a family now. And even though she fucking fell down, now she's got kids that are fucking falling down. She's making lunch for her, and they're falling down with their fucking lunchbox and shit. But, you know... That's that girl's name was I don't remember her name at this point. I wonder what she looks like now. Everybody gets so fucking ugly, you know. Unless you live in LA, then you fucking rip all 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 day long. You rip all day long for your whole life. Unless you get fucking fat, but don't get fat. And that's it. I've been looking at this old people face app that people are doing. Everybody did it. Even I did it. I don't fucking like to do all the shit that everyone does because, you know, good as shit, but I can't believe how crazy interesting and good it looks it's so good at it you know and so i looked at the uh, and so I, I people sent me some of me and i did i didn't do it but i posted one and it's so funny how good everyone looks on it like actually like handsome or pretty because it's like dude it's not accounting that all of you are gonna gain 40 pounds i look like fucking logan on heroin on mine or Sam El- or not Sam Elliott. Sam Elliott is that the guy, the dude on the dude, the d- fucking yeah, I look like that guy who shaved his mustache a little bit. Um, yeah, so that old face app is pretty wild though, but it'll go away in two fucking days, you know? It's like every, it's like one two days. It was bam, everybody, everybody was doing it, and then and gone. It sucks. Brian Callen can't do it right because he's already that age. I did it to Brian Callen, and it was a fucking grave. I did it to Brian Callen, and it was a. It showed me a coffin, and I was like, "Oh Jesus, okay, well, all oh, good." Me undies, <clears throat> I love me undies, man. I've never put on uh, underwear that's more uh, comfortable, uh, and I wear it every single day of my life, every single day of my life, and you should too. It's weird. It's got this really great fabric that's like uh, a lot softer than cotton. Uh, Micromodal, it's called. Uh, me undies are here to change your underwear, not literally. I mean, it, but it's here to change the way you think about it. And they believe undies shouldn't take themselves too seriously, which I agree as well. They believe undies should be soft, fit, every booty like it was made for every booty. And offer fun patterns that give you the freedom to express yourself. There's new women's products by MeUndies. Uh, They believe that every woman should have uh, the freedom to wear whatever uh, whatever cut they want in whatever color they want and whatever size they want. So ladies, rejoice. The Feel Free collection is here. MeUndies size tested. Uh, MeUndies size tested these five new silhouettes on every body type with an ultra soft feather light uh, waistband that provides zero restriction. Uh, these undies will be the best thing that has ever been on your body, offered in sizes extra small to 4XL. Um, yeah, I got them all, man. I don't, I mean, I don't have the women's underwear because I don't wear them, but I have all my underwear and I literally love it. I won't wear other underwear. How's that? You got to try it. Uh, to get your 15% off your first pair, free shipping, and a 100% satisfaction guarantee, go to MeUndies.com slash congrats. That's MeUndies.com slash congrats. Today's show is brought to you by Honey, the easiest way to save money when you're shopping online. Uh, look, before I found out about Honey, seeing the promo code box at checkout stressed me out. Like, should I be typing something in here? Is a code I don't know? Like, I don't know what it is. How do I find it? And just knowing that there could be a discount out there made me worry about, you know, like, am I overpaying? Are they, is this company taking money from me uh, every time I shop when they don't need to be online? Uh, and now I have Honey, and it's a free tool that connects to your computer's browser as you're shopping. So you don't have to do it every time. It scans the internet for coupon codes and other discounts. Then it automatically applies the best one to your cart at checkout. You save a lot of money this way. All right, I'm telling you. Honey will try, uh, will find you every coupon code, sale, or discount on over 20,000 sites like Amazon, J.Crew, eBay, uh, Macy's, Sephora, Nordstrom, and more. Uh, 
I'm on fire. One fire. Uh, the producer here shops online all day long and says it's always saving him money. Uh, and it does it automatically. He says it's like every website that he sh- shops on. Uh, there's no reason not to add Honey to your browser today. It's free. And to use, it's free to use and installs in just two clicks. So get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash congrats. That's two words. Join Honey. Dot com slash congrats. Honey, the easiest way to save money while shopping online. Stance. Now, I'm happy these guys are sponsors because I've loved these guys for years. But because they've changed the game when it comes to socks. I got them on right now. As a matter of fact, I have the ones on that say stance all over them. That's how much I like them. Look at that. It says stance all over these socks. They all got these cool patterns and they're very cool. But they brought creativity design, and quality to what was once a boring accessory. Uh, There are plenty of pretenders out there, but Stance started it all, and they're the best at it. Uh, If you're one of the millions of people who have fallen in love with Stance, you already know why the sock world and your feet haven't uh, been the same since. Incredible design and comfort and unmatched durability uh, from everyday casual styles they have like cool patterns that are just like kind of more muted and and uh and 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 easy and then also they have like the crew socks that are like and then performance athletic socks with cool vibrant designs i mean it's just they're they're the best stance gives back to the community uh uh of socks for heroes uh which sends socks to deployment uh to deployed military around the world um it's very cool Collaborations that raise money for clean water initiatives in Africa, California wildfire victims, and breast cancer awareness campaigns. It's just a really good, sound, great company, and they've and they're the best at socks. So Stance has great a uh, great offer for my listeners. You go to stance.com slash congrats, you'll get a free pair of socks with a purchase. S T A N C E dot com slash congrats to get your free pair of socks. This is a limited time offer, so take advantage today and go to stance.com slash congrats. If they're not stance, they're just socks. Um, it's really cool, man. Where I'm at. Congratulations is brought to you by Cash App, the official app of the log cabin. Better help. Is there something interfering with your happiness or is uh, preventing you from achieving your goals? Uh, you know, I mean, sometimes I have uh, like uh, anxiety that that uh, gets in the way of, of of me doing what I need to do and all that stuff. But uh, introducing BetterHelp, it will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. You can start communicating in under twenty four hours. It's not a crisis line. It's not self help. It is professional counseling done securely online. Uh, it's good for people, and it's you know it's uh, sometimes you need this, and you can't get a a um, a quick appointment, but you can hear. Uh, uh, there is a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's counselor network, which may not be locally available in many areas. Uh, it's available for clients worldwide. You can log into your account anytime and send a message to your counselor. You'll get timely and thoughtful responses. Plus, you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions so you won't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room. And uh, you can chat and text with your therapist even between sessions. Visit BetterHelp.com slash congrats and join the over 500,000 people talking, uh, char- taking charge of their mental health with the help of of an experienced professional. Congratulations, listeners. Get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash congrats. Drinking on your ass. Drinking water on your ass because, you know, because. Actually, that's the end of the sentence. <clears throat> um, but yeah, so... <clears throat> We got a cameo here. I got a cameo. Somebody got this for me as a joke. It's from Lance Bass. Let me play it. How's it going, Chris? Lance Bass here. I'd like to remind you to give your Congratulations podcast sponsors a bit more love and personal endorsements. We'd hate to see those new sponsors say bye, bye, bye. Keep the Brinks trucks filled and get that log cabin money. That's Lance Bass, you know? It's cool. I like Lance Bass. So thanks for that. Um, 
Did you know that there's new emojis? Apple's new iOS will allow users to vary the skin tone of emojis with two or more people. Oh, so they're getting uh, mixed race couples up in this bitch. One fire sent me this link like he's trying to end my career talking about this. Just get in fucking trouble. So here are the different versions you can do. <clears throat> white white girl with Somalian guy. I'm just looking at what that looks like. Uh, you can also just get white girl with pedophile guy, white guy with mustache. Tan surfer dude with white chick. White chick with maybe really tan, maybe he's a Mexican guy. Then just white chick with black guy. And then a blonde chick with black guy. I mean, these are all the... This is great. This is great, dude. Finally. This is great. I mean, that sucks that we had to use black with black and white with white. Now, Apple, dude, you can literally get an Indian girl holding hands with a fucking white chick. Dude. I guess we figured it out. You know, woke in the best way, dude. Emojis accept each other now? I mean, dude, I'm going to buy Apple for life. What? So many. You can get a little black girl holding hands with a little black girl. You can get a Mexican guy holding hands with a black girl. You can get a white dude holding hands with a Somalian dude. Black dude, you get just a regular black dude with a regular black chick. You just get that going on too. So that's cool. Also, there's other new emojis. <clears throat> there's a guy pointing to his face. So that's cool because I know that was in fucking high demand. I hated when I would be like, when I had to text, hey guys, I'm pointing to my face. Now I could just send that emoji over. Uh, a banjo, so that's cool because anyone who plays a banjo for sure has an iPhone, even though they're in fucking 1912. Um, a yawn emoji, which is actually a good one. There's a golden retriever, okay? There's a crossing guard vest, and that's it. And that's really important because what the fuck would you need a crossing guard vest emoji for? There's a uh, gorilla, like a hardcore gorilla, just sitting down. Um, a robot, a robot arm, kind of flexing, kind of in a way. Then there's an, like I guess that would be a, what is that, like Hindi garb? I don't know what that is. Whatever it is, I'm racist probably. Then there's a sloth, cool. Then there's a black chick holding hands with a black chick. That's probably just to show the other emojis. And then there's butter. Falaf is that what is that? Falafel balls or what the fuck? What? Yeah, falafel balls for all you Greek motherfuckers. Oh, a blind chick. That's cool because blind people don't even know what the fuck they're texting. So, okay. A skunk, an ice cube. That's cool for me when I'm talking about my jewelry on text. There's a parachuting guy, a one-piece bathing suit, a garlic clove. Uh, flamingo, 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 flamingo. Then there's a hearing aid. That's good for my dad. And then there's other ones. Robot leg, interracial couple, and then a fucking ego waffle. Guys, I uh, also am recording this episode. I'm trying to not talk about um, things that are happening too currently because I don't know when this episode's going to air because I'm kind of I'm going to, I, you know, I'm maybe going to, maybe it'll come out this week. Maybe I'll bank it. I don't know because I'm going to be in Albuquerque. I don't know how busy I'm going to be, but I got to admit something to you guys. And I am, I meant to start off this episode with an apology <clears throat> because I'm recording it on world hot dog day. And I apologize because I, I know I should be taking the day off, you know, because it's World Hot Dog Day. 
And I, 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 but I thought, you know what? Even though it's a national, even though it's an international uh, holiday, and it's very important. Even though it's very important, important. Even though it's extremely important, I thought I got to give you guys what you want. Even though I should take the entire day off and strictly eat hot dogs. So, you're welcome. Or something, or as my my brother's friend would say in um, middle school, or saying. So I'm really sorry, but I had to work on National Hot Dog Day. Also, Channing Tatum, can you get the camera closer to your face on Instagram videos? Is it in your brain? Uh. And I'm going to comment right now on this thing. We're, we're kissing. Because that's what's happening if I'm not close with somebody. I'm kissing. I'm kissing. I don't know, whatever. I mean, you know, I still don't know why you listen to this fucking podcast. Uh, you know. It it is what it is, right? And ain't nothing truer, nothing truer, nothing truer, nothing truer, nothing truer. You know what it's like being a guy? I'm only thirty nine. Okay, I mean, I'm fucking. I challenge you to find someone younger than me because I've fucking been trying to actively find someone younger than me uh, for a month, and I can't find one. And but this is what it's like being a guy. Cleared out the garage, cleared out the garage, cleared out my garage, and can't stop thinking about it. Cleared out the garage, and I can't stop thinking about it. Dude, I woke up today, got in one of my cars, hold on, and fucking left and couldn't, Stop thinking about how my other car was in my garage because it's been cleared out. Dude, and I drove to get coffee, and I was I never stopped thinking about how my garage was clear. So you know what, dude? Fuck you. You trying to put me in a bad mood today? No matter what happens, I won't be, dude, because my garage is clear. And I'll tell you what, dude. That fucking rocks as a guy. Having a clear garage... Yo, and I'm not even I'm not even 40. Dude, I'm the youngest guy you'll ever meet. And yeah, of course, my shoulders, they go on. You know, whatever, fine, it's fine. Yeah, I'm shooting the movie Army of the Dead, and they did ask about renting out space, you know, on my back to shoot some of the fucking movie. And I said, eh, you know, I don't know. I'm, I got fucking, you know, what's... They said everybody has a price. I was like, I got fucking some of the Lord of the Rings shit that they, they, they shot there, and I didn't like the mess they left, you know. But, um, yeah, so my garage is clear. And, and if you're trying to put me in a bad mood world, oh, oh, bro, hey, fuck you, my garage is clear, okay? And my, 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 one of my cars is in there. So drink to that. Hello. Anytime I hear this clinking, ice clinking, I think, hello, Mr. Bond. It's so British to have ice in your glass and clink it. And, and you know what, dude? And I'm in a, and I don't give off. Yo. Whatever, man. I don't get it. What, what else should we talk about, man? Should we take some questions or should we? That's what it's like being a guy, though, is getting your shit dialed in. Chicks, too, though. So really, that's what it's like being a guy or a chick. I'm glad we figured that out, man. I'm a fucking idiot. Want to talk a Twitter, take Twitter questions or something like that? Did you, did you see the video about the guy I almost threw up in his mouth and the fucking, I did it on H3. We talked about it on H3. The guy almost threw up in his mouth. Dude, when you almost throw up in your mouth, this guy fucking, th- I don't know. It's like a Swedish, Swedish um, throw up in mouth. Let's see if I can find it. We talked about it on H3. Hmm. A video. 
was it Swedish even? I don't even know. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Finnish pol- Finnish. Finnish politician vomits in, vomits in his own mouth. I thought we talked about it on H3, but we'll do it here too. Jos mun se kansainvälisyyksen kautta on huomattavasti, tai se provinssina sukkeellan oikeus. Oh, that guy's so nervous, dude. Have you seen this? Autonomian, tai jopa itsenäisyyteen. Mitä ne provinssit tässä tapauksessa on? Maakuntia, itsehallinto olevia. Tarkoittaa, Lääneen. olisiko Suomi niin provinssi vai olisiko täällä oh, sitten useampia provinsseja sisällä? Suomi ei ole provinssi, vaan minä tämänhetkiset tuota, TE-alueenhallintokeskukset oh. on niin sanottuja provinsseja. Eli ikään kuin maakunnille lisävaltaa eri, eri puolilla Eurooppaa. 8 seconds left, 7 no, seconds left. Oh, and there it is, and he swallowed it. That's gangster. Now I want that guy to be my father. Do you understand? If you're, first of all, he had four minutes to talk. And he was nervous the whole time. And in the fucking final five seconds, he, his body was like, you know what? Fuck it. And it came up and he goes like a like a like someone who can Naruto run like like a Japanimation. Je, je, like and then he just goes, no, you're not. Oh, hey, throw up. I'm in charge of my body. My mouth doesn't open if I don't say it does. And then swallows it back up. And 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 rem- and the remaining second ticks by. That guy, hey guy, congratulations! I'm related to you because I wa- I am I am, or I should say you're related to me. Thank you for that because that you're my you're partly in my top five heroes. That's gangster. I would have opened my mouth and thrown the fuck up, and I w- and I would have let it happen, and I would have been like, "That's what you get, man. That's what happens," so, you know. Uh, but this guy, Finnish politician, vomits in his own mouth during an interview, swallows it, and continues talking. Do you understand? Somebody writes true warrior under it. Wow, that's amazing. Vomit. Look at these. Top five puking fails. Let's look at these. I mean, you don't need a graphic for it, you know, it's just show the videos. Top five puking fails got a graphic. (laughs) Oh, wow, dude. I'm going to send this to you. Oh, wow, dude. I mean, that one's hilarious. This guy is in a parking lot, throws up, and someone walking by, an older lady walking by, just falls down because of it. Like, straight up. Doesn't even fucking. I just sent emailed it to you. Yo, you have it. You have it. I mean, she just falls the fuck down, dude, with her bags. When you fall down with bags, it's it. That's how the girl looked in my high school that fell down. She goes to run away, and she's holding her fucking granddaughter's hand. Okay, now we got a little girl. Wow, I love that that was like at a fucking grocery store parking lot. Now we got a little girl in like a wizard hat and she's doing a play or something. Oh, she's cute. Oh, and she just threw the fuck up like it was part of the play. How does throw up become... Oh, she's killing it. Wow, that's not... How did that come... Did they siphon that through her butthole? How did she get that much in her? Wow, that's amazing. Uh, these guys already deserve it, I can tell. This is the number three, and these guys already deserve it, and I can tell, because these guys all, straight up, I swear to God, are, Le- are Theo Vaughn fans. You can tell. One guy's wearing a Louisville shirt, another guy's wearing a wife beater, and they're in a kitchen that you would be molested in 100%. And then another guy, I don't even know how to describe the other guy. He, he, I mean, he just lo- he looks like he would be on every fucking... Any small, any town where they were like, and we're going live to the street to see what the deal is, they'd be interviewing that guy. And there's a big, 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 big McDonald's cup on the fucking thing. Don't ever get the big, big, big McDonald's. The, the McDonald's cup that's too big and then it, that, it, that it has to fucking get smaller so it'll fit in cup holders. If you get that drink, you're first to go. Get the fuck out of life. Get a fucking drink that just fits in your cup holder. Don't get one that has different sizes in it. What is it, a transformer? Take it. Oh. Take it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. 
I can't even tell. Oh, wow. Wow, he threw up on the Theo Vaughn fan. You ever seen a fucking Theo Vaughn fan throw up on a Theo Vaughn fan? Look at that one right there. Here's a baby, and the lady is holding it up. Oh, wow, it's going to throw up right on her face, and that's obvious. <laughs> Good. She deserves it. Aw, cute mommy. Aw, oh, cute baby. Aw, that's so cute, dude. I want my. I want to have a son and have him throw up on me. Now this guy is picking up a goddamn. I mean, why are wheels so fucking big? You know, in, 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 in this guy's got not only. It's one thing to take the big tr- tr- truck wheel and t- toss it over as a workout guy. You know what I mean? And throw it over, or take the mallet and fucking smash it. But this guy's got a fucking whole apparatus attached to the big ass wheel that you weight train with it says weight training cardio and fitness zone full strongman facilities and this guy's got the apparatus in his hand and he's going to pick it up and my guess is he's going to up chuck all over the whole fucking weight training facility okay let's see and he pulled it down and it goes up again and it goes up again and down again Okay, let a little bit of throw up out, and then just kind of fucking still, okay, and throw up again, and he's still going. Okay, hey, bud. Okay, okay, oh, cool, came out his nose. Oh, he's, okay. Okay, well, wow, this guy's a monster, huh? Oh, my God, this guy, dude. Hey, bro, once you start throwing up, stop. That's my whole motto, dude. Whatever I'm doing. I mean, the guy kept going. Hey, guy, stop. Hey, all all the doctors in the world, stop. That's them. Guy throws up nine times while lifting up a fucking tractor trailer. All doctors in the world, stop. Wow. God. That's amazing. I think they put a fucking tarp down. Is that what that is? Yeah, they put a tarp down in front of him. Like maybe like this guy was the throw up guy. Hey, we got Tommy coming. He's a fucking throw up guy. So put the tarp down. He's going to lift seven times. This goddamn thing that nobody should lift seven times. And he's absolutely going to throw up. So put the tarp down because he always throws up. We got Tommy going. So it's all good. Let's look at some questions. We haven't looked at questions in a long time. Do we have uh, actually do we have a questions? Do we even have a? Yeah, let's do questions. Okay. The, the, the fucking I'm sorry. The best one was when the guy threw up in the parking lot and the, and the girl fell. And that was number five. That should have been number one because it's so funny that there's two families. This is so funny. She throws up. Oh, wow. God, when older women fall, it's sad as fuck, huh? Um, all right, so what do I do? We got it. Twitter? Okay, cool. Uh, remember this whole... Fu- remember the fucking gaming the system guy, dude? Um, why... Okay, first of all, don't misspell does. This guy wrote, why dose this lady? Why does this lady? Louis Bandit, Louis Bandit 666. Well, any 666, change it. But why does this lady have the same first name as your full name? Crystalia is her, Crystalia. Crystalia. K R Y S T A L L I A. How about how her last name is Kalion Kellyonzi? I mean Crystalia Kellyonzi. I mean the sexiest goddamn name of all time. Crystalia Kellyonzi. Is she a Bond girl? She's a pro- she's a project manager? Wow. Two likes. Nice, bro. Cool. Congratulations, Pod. Alright, great. Next one. I don't know, man. You know what you're asking me? I don't fucking know. I've become, I get high and tweet, okay, you know? 
And I love how the handle, that's the thing. Dude, that's so fuck. The handle is I get high and twee one. Because they wanted it to be and tweet. And then so to let you know, their hand, their fucking header or whatever you would call it, their name on it, I get high and tweet. Like just fucking have it say Lisa or whatever your name is, dude. We, we got it. Also, change it. Both. I get high in Twee One. Ah. Royal fuck up. Are you the lady that fell when the guy threw up? I've become very aware of how much I complain since listening to Congratulations Pod. An unexpected life, life lesson. Thank you, Senor Dalia. Senor. I don't, I don't even get that. What, what, I, what are you saying? Because I, cause I complain or because I make fun of people who complain or what? What? Are you high right now? You're high right now, dude. Stop eating so many fucking weed brownies. Um, yeah. Also, here's another thing about people. I, you know, I jokingly call myself daddy and shit. And like, you know, I call you guys babies. Don't come up to me and say and call me dad. People think it's like, I, nah, I'm not dad, dude. Mm, daddy, all right? People, dude, some guy came up to me and said, can I get a pic? And he started taking a video. And I was like, and I was like, ah, fucking, what are you doing, bro? And he was like, hey, I'm with my, dude, he fucking was so nervous. First of all, he's shaking. And he said, hey, what's up, Instagram? I'm, I'm with my grandpappy. Ugh. Dude, you're a fucking mistake. I'm with my grandpappy? Oh, that was ultimate cringe. I literally, on his, I'm on his video going like this. Oh, what? You get the real deal when you come out, dude. <laughs> uh, okay. Here's a good one. Rob M. At Rob Matera 27. All right, cool. Fine. No change it involved. Saw this woman while driving yesterday and rolled my window down to give her a drive-by. Hey, your thoughts on this loon and what she's protesting? Okay, so she's just next to a stop sign, and this big s- banner says, Danger! And then under it, Robotic equipment is being implanted into you and your kids during surgery with your un- with your informed consent. Th- with what? Oh, without your informed consent. Sorry, she's not holding the banner right. If you're going to go through the whole fucking tr- trouble, hold the banner right. You got a huge banner. Get a friend. Oh, but you don't have any because you're alone. This means slavery. Oh, it gets real morbid at the end. During surgery without your informed consent. This means slavery and torture by remote control until you die. Dude, this guy took this picture. What a shot. Also, get a better location. She's just in, you know where she is? Some neighborhood near a stop sign, dude. Where is it? See if you can see where it is. Did he put the location? Robot equipment is not being implanted in your... Who's this fucking... Who's holding that? Who's behind this sign? Sam Tripoli? Dude, Sayerville, New Jersey. I've played there before, I think. Wow. Man, New Jersey. Nothing's... Who's the crazier state? Florida or New Jersey? I'd have to say Florida because of how big it is. But, man, nothing's more New Jersey than Florida. Nothing's more New Jersey than a New Jersey guy moving down to Florida and being in Florida. That's the most New Jersey you can be. It's like when I found out that... um, a while ago, I don't know if he still does, but Johnny Depp lives in Paris. I was like, dude, that's the most Hollywood you can be. Nothing's more New Jersey than living in Florida and just having a belly. You're like, yeah, you know, I like it because, you know, it doesn't get cold. I can't deal with the fucking cold, you know? I can't deal with the seasons. I Honestly, I've, deal- I've dealt with the seasons for 54 years. I can't fucking deal with it anymore. I got to come down here. I got to catch some rays. 
That's it. That's it. I come out here, I eat my fucking bologna sandwiches, and I smoke a cigar, and I'm going to do that. And I'll tell you what, if it shaves life off the back of my, you know, the end of my life, it doesn't matter because those are the fucking bad years anyway. I'm talking about I'm living as best as I can from now until those years start. And that's it. And that's fucking it. What is mukbang YouTube culture? Brianna Marie Prosper at Kedoris Pollux. Okay, change it. Have... Ew. Chrissy, have you talked to mukbang YouTube culture yet? Congratulations about observing report. It, it, that's my one fire saying people eat a lot of food. Mukbang? While they talk? While they. Okay, I'm looking it up. Mukbang. Oh, it's that Korean shit where they eat like fucking squids and and break fucking. Yeah, that's gross. I can't. I can't watch that shit. You know what eating is? Honestly, a fucking private thing. Even restaurants. It's like, what the fuck are we doing? We're all getting together to fucking shove shit in our faces. It seems like it should be like sex. You don't fuck, you know, in public and shit. You don't, it, eating is like an, it should be like a, it's so intimate. We're inserting shit, you know? It's just gross. Most people, unless you're hot as fuck, unless you're a nine or above, you should just be eating by yourself in, in, in your house, dude. If you're a 10, restaurants should only be for 10s. <laughs> for real. Like even I, I, I think I, I like to consider myself. I, you know, I'd like to take care of my body. Like I, if you try hard, maybe you know, with your body and work out, and you, you try, you know, mostly only people who should be eating in restaurants are hot chicks that don't use that much makeup because that's gross to eat with a bunch of makeup on. Or if you're like a top notch fucking good looking dude, like Brad Pitt, Tom Cruise. You know what I mean? I'm talking about Paul Walker. If he was alive, rest in peace. He could be at a restaurant. Maybe Hugh Jackman. I don't really know. I haven't seen him up close. But like Ryan Reynolds, I guess, could eat with his wife out in public. But like, bro, you're just going to look like a fucking gross guy and and then put stuff in your face in public with other people. Like, nah. Eat in private. So mukbang, go fuck yourself, okay? Eating for all the world to see, gross. At least I can click on the link if I if I if I choose, but like just mostly eating let private, okay? Private. Um. Anyway, well, you know that's an hour, so uh, you know I, I had a good, that was fun. Uh, that was a fun episode, and um. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you didn't enjoy it, it doesn't matter because that was for me. Oh, so bitch how it fucking fades out. Uh, it's weird how it can be so bitch, even though it fades out that way. Like it's, it, it is, it's like the quickly, the quickness of fading out. I never think songs should fade out. That's so eighties and nineties songs should just stop. Song should be two minutes and 20 seconds, and that's it. I've always said that. And my dad, once I said it to my dad, and he was like, you're fucking out of your mind. And I was like, Why? songs go on for too long. You know? Uh, anyway, it's cool how I feel fucking tingly and numb in my thumb. Great. Great. It's all good. I feel tingly and numb in my thumb, but I'm young as shit, so it's all good. So cool. Maybe I slipped the disc. All good. Um, thanks for listening. You guys are great. Had a good time. And my garage is fucking cleared out. And one of my cars is in there. <laughs> Fuck yeah, I'm happy about that. And uh, and that's it. And I'm going to be in fucking Albuquerque a lot, dude. And it is dry as shit. And I'm trying to fucking go number two. Get out of here. Get out of here, dude. Number two in Albuquerque? Get out of here. Fucking. <laughs> Thanks for listening. You guys are the best. Uh, oh, and remember to check out my brother's podcast, Matt D'Elia is Confused, and download my app um, on um, 
on you can get it and listen to and see this. Sometimes I do podcasts on a Wednesday. You guys don't even know about it, but the my app does because I do podcasts on a Wednesday and they download and they subscribe and then they get to catch it the first ten minutes, fifteen minutes live before it even goes out. Uh, download download the Cash App for free on the App Store or Google Play Market. Um, support the show by buying merch at store.crystalia.com store.crystalia.com or you can just go to crystalia.com and follow the fucking links uh, but you can get all these shirts Future's Too Bright shirt and wear them at Brian Callen shows you gotta start wearing more of them at Brian Callen shows I was at the King and the Sting show the other day and I popped up to do a I saw a Safri a Safri Cunt shirt and some Dent shirts and they didn't even know I was gonna be on the lineup I guess spotted I just fucking popped on and bro you're wearing those at Sting and the, th- and the Thing you're wearing those at fucking Fing and the Stim do it you're wearing them at fucking stim, sting in the bring, and you guys ringing, ring the, ringing the bing, dude. And you guys are fucking wearing my merch at bling in the thing, dude. That's the shit. What is that even fucking podcast? Sting in the ring. What do they talk about? It's just too fucking, dude. Theo's hair. I saw a picture the other day of Theo. A profile shot of Theo, and it was unreal, bro. I was like, I literally out loud go like this, wow. That's it's amazing. It's amazing that you think like that. Who's that guy? Okay. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Got shows coming up, and it's great. Come out. Catch the follow of the leader tour. It's almost over. The Follow the Leader Tour is almost over. End of the year, and that's it. Then i got to start working on new material, my babies. Uh, so catch it before it fucking before it goes away. You guys rock. Thanks for listening. And remember... Uh, thanks. Congratulations! 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 Congratul